Yes, the rest of the news, as we talked about on the show last night, Republicans in Tampa are busy drafting their official 2012 party platform. It includes things like a constitutional ban on abortions with no exceptions for rape or incest, support for unconstitutional, radical anti-immigration laws like the one in Arizona that was struck down by the Supreme Court, and it also includes an assault on gay rights, calling for a constitutional amendment to ban marriage equality and deny same-sex couples any benefits. That plank in the platform isn't sitting so well with some Republicans, namely the Young Conservatives for the Freedom to Marry, a group that is working within the Republican Party to promote marriage equality. Joining me now is a leadership committee member with the Young Conservatives for the Freedom to, to Marry, Sarah Longwell. Sarah, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm, you. I'm always yelling at people to get involved in political parties rather than, you know, just complaining or whatnot. It's, it's, it's you know, I'm sure there's a million things we disagree on politically. But a million. It's great to see that you are active inside one of these political parties. Tell me, yeah. what, what is, how is marriage equality in line with or antithetical to the traditional values or positions of the Republican Party? Well, I think it's 100% in line with them. And this is really what we're trying to talk to conservatives about. We're trying to explain to them that, look, your conservative values and principles are 100% in line with giving people, all people, the freedom to marry. And it, for, for me, being a conservative is really about minimizing the role of government and maximizing individual responsibility and individual freedom. And so that's what this group is really trying to talk to conservatives about. Isn't it kind of ironic that, that uh, mostly men it seems, and they're not all Republicans, there's Democrats who do this as well. They get out there and yell about, we need less government, less government in our lives, less government intrusion, and then they, they want to legislate everything from, from birth control to abortion to who can marry whom. It seems like they want more government in these in these social areas and less government, what, in regulations telling the Koch brothers how much mercury they can you know, put in the air? Well, I, I can't speak to that specifically, but I can tell you that, you know, it, it is something that people need to be more consistent about. Mm. I think when you call for less government, uh, that means less government in all aspects of our life. And uh, that certainly includes marriage. You know, this is not uh, the role of government to be telling grown-ups uh, whether or not they can make a lifelong commitment to one another. How long do you think it will be? I'm, I'm assuming, I'm taking the long view here, sure. and, and uh, I, hopeful, I think realistic one, eventually the Republican Party is going to come around. I mean, you know, Absolutely. This, this was a radical idea for the Democratic Party sure. 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. So how long do you think it's going to be, and what do you think it's going to take? I mean, we, we had Dick Cheney's daughter coming out. You had, I mean, there have been some prominent and Republicans. And Dick Cheney coming out in favor of gay marriage. Well, yeah, and, and Barry Goldwater, you know, back with the military, saying you don't have to be straight to shoot straight. I mean, there's, it, it's not That's like right. this is a instantly new idea. Right. So, so I actually don't think it's going to be nearly as long as people might think. You know, um, the polling right now shows that 46 percent of self-identified Republicans and conservatives under the age of 44 are absolutely in favor of the freedom to marry for all, all loving couples. Mm. And so, and that's actually, and then there's 46 percent again. So it's dead even for under the age of 44. So with that level of demographic shift, I mean, the party, in order to stay relevant with young people, is going to have to take notice. It's going to have to change its positions. And I think that the party knows that. You know, I think right now, you know, they've got a lot of uh, people who might be a little older, who are who are some of their primary constituents, but they know they're going to have to change to stay relevant with this. This is anybody uh, going to tell Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan? Well, I think they know. I think they know. Um, and I, I don't think, you know, we're talking four, six, eight years. I don't think we're talking about, uh, you know, decades. And, and we do need to remember that, you know, Barack Obama just came out for marriage equality uh, three months ago. Yeah. So three months ago. So I think, uh, you know, one thing that didn't get a ton of coverage but is very much true is that during the platform debate, and yes, it's very unfortunate that Tony Perkins was the one who was writing uh, the marriage platform uh, for the GOP. But... Uh, what is great is there was a vigorous debate during the platform discussion where people were talking about civil unions. There were a lot of people who were talking about marriage equality. And so it is something the Republican Party is very much aware of. They're aware that attitudes are changing and that eventually they're going to have to change with them. Yeah. Well, and, and uh, the, it couldn't happen fast enough for me. I, I, I think this is a marvelous trend. And I'm, I, again, I want to congratulate you on being an activist in the Republican Party. Thank you Sorry. very much, Thank sir. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.